Good morning, everybody. My name is Jody. My husband, David John, and I have a small farm in the panhandle of North Idaho. These are stories and adventures. So I'm going to go through today and show you, show you some of the fencing projects that we've been able to get done just so we can get the birds reintegrated together. Turned out really cool. So let's start with the temporary one behind you at the pond or the koi pond and then we'll go into the barnyard and it doesn't really show but there is yeah you can see it block bird netting all the way around the pond to keep the birds out we did go through on this gate and put the metal box wire on it I can get it to open. And we're going to be doing a little man door right here. Just haven't gotten there yet. Still on the to-do list. But we've got this fence right here, just as a temporary. And David John let all the birds out the other day, so, or most of the birds, I should say. Geese and a couple tur and the turkey. But have a temporary fence along there to keep them out of the plants and out of the greenhouse. In the old duck pen is basically we're doing it as the whoa, nursery for the one, two, three, four, six Muscovy hens that are still laying on eggs because those two like to beat up on the hens when they get off the nest. Let's start over here and do my daily mama check. So got this little black and white girl. Yeah. And then in here We've got Valkyrie. And yes, I have said that all three of my geese are hens. Played a little trick on Valkyrie a couple weeks ago. She got off the nest. I pulled the 24 goose eggs that were underneath her and put Muscovy eggs under her. So, she'll be about one of the last ones to hatch out here, so she's going to be a mama. But let's go check on the other girls. So we got this little black and white one. that little brown and white girl and I hear me some babies let me adjust the camera oh mama Babies have to be under you. There you go. So, just have to keep an eye and make sure she's keeping them warm so I don't have to pull them.
<clears throat> and that's another reason I had to get the female geese out of here is they were pulling babies as they were hatching out from underneath that mama and they'd pull them out and then leave them and I'd find it too late but the last mama hen in here is that little one yeah so let's go out get these guys fed and watered and I'll show you the fence that he did on the back And if Professor Snape was out here, he's too busy strutting up on his roost, you would see a completely different <laughs> dynamic with the, the geese. They don't know what to make of him. They're usually the queen bees of the barnyard. Valkyrie is yet to, to meet him because obviously she's still on the nest. But these other two give him a wide berth. And it's not that he's aggressive towards them. Not aggressive at all. When I'm out here doing anything, he's pretty much in my back pocket. But I'm gonna go clean the chick brooder, show you those guys, and then we'll go see the, the rest of their fenced in world. I got their pen all cleaned up. The baby chicks remind me of Dory off of Finding Nemo. Every morning when I have to go clean off their concrete pad, it's like I have to retrain them to move out of my way. But they are all getting big. That's why I'm hoping the mama duck is gonna be okay taking care of her babies because during the day when it's nice and warm, their heat light gets turned off. But I have been giving them some dirt clumps and some grass to play with. So they are getting exposed to that stuff. But they're getting big. And so far, knock on wood, I've been able to leave the door open to the chicken coop and they're not really going in there and messing around with stuff. Now I've got Miss Govey's trying to figure out the chicken coop. 
There's Professor showing off. Western boys and Rogue did make the move over to here. I've never in all the times that I've owned ducks and chickens together, I've never had the issue of the male ducks trying to breed with the chickens. And I think it's because I've always had males and females of both species. And Roe is the lone duck. Yeah, that's why he got put over here with the boys. But do you have a plan for what we're going to do with him till this fall? But I haven't put a fence around the raspberries. And they don't seem to be messing with them yet. But they have all of this area over here. Show you the back side of the gate and the fence area. And then take you around to the front. So, we've got this gate here. And the fence rolls just right along the buck brush and everything over to the side of the ziggy shed. Oh, the professor came out and saw mom was was out. He's full of himself. So the fence goes from right there to this corner post and then all across there gives them a gives the birds a nice fenced in area yeah they will eventually have access to the down the side of the house but right now they've just got this area so i know it's a short one but that's where we're at on fences so I hope you have a good day and a good week, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.